Ooh wee! What is up, everybody? Early YouTubians, VOD viewers, thanks for being here bright and early. Like the stream, why don't you? How about that? Welcome to the stream. I hope you like the vibe. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. We're gonna play some games. We're gonna clap some cheeks. Now be a good a lot of fun today. and don't be a peep. Hello, enjoy your hype, 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 hello, hello. Deck with no live, please. I'll, I'll play any deck that I want. Battle Kitty, howdy. If you were watching here. on YouTube, like and subscribe. Riley Native here. NC State's in the Final Four. Pog. I don't watch college basketball, but congratulations. I'm sorry that happened to you. I hope you like the vibe. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. We're gonna play some games. We're gonna What's up, Agent Nobius? What's up, Too Spooky? Now be a good chatter and don't be a piece. Binks, 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 Binks. Tank from Marvel Rivals? What's up, Karen? And don't be a piece. Here, you're only supposed to check in once a, once a month. What's going on, man? You're, you're putting in overtime. You're gonna have to up the check I send you. FLG Lutragon. Like the that's a, a fun name to say. Lutragon. Bigs. Lutragon. Bigs. Bigs. X or glitchy. Welcome in. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Bigs. It was horrible before we got here. Well, hopefully Bigs. this makes it better. Bigs. 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 Great. Daniela, Bix. what's up, clicks? Like and subscribe. Bix. Hello, hello. Bix. Glad you like the music. I hope you like the vibe. Bix. Bix. Like and subscribe. Ooh, -wee. thank you all so much for being here bright and early. I appreciate it. Um <laughs> someone just said first. <laughs> Not even close, but I I, I appreciate the nasty. Okay. Deck we're going to play today, you've probably seen this on Reddit or Twitter before. There's a really fun combo with War Machine. Um, with War Machine, Storm, and Galactus. Play Storm. You quake the Storm lane to a lane where they hopefully don't have very much power. You then play War Machine, and then you can Galactus that lane where they cannot play. Um, we have a, a few different kind of backup plans. We have like Legion Storm type stuff that we can do. Uh, Mbaku's in here. Kind of non-meme. More as a joke than anything. Kind of helps out with our Legion Storm game plan sometimes. But I just haven't touched Mbaku in a long time. I felt like I, felt like I needed him, you know? Uh, we have Double Goblin Ravona. Uh, it's really nice. Like, there, there's some pretty nice lines because Kiln is already there. You can, like, Ravona and then just, like, huck a Hobgoblin into their lane uh, to set it up. And then you don't even need to do the Quake thing uh, sometimes because you just get them at less than 5 power. Uh, I play this a little bit off stream. Hit the combo a couple of times. Uh, it's extra special today because Kiln is the hot location. So, basically, half of games, we just get a free Storm lane. Uh, now, the downside is a lot of people, if they have War Machine, are probably going to run it today. Baku for Bar with no name. Luckily, we have two location disruptions to stop that from being an issue. Um, should be a fun deck. Probably not something that's like overly strong. Also, probably won't be nearly as strong outside of this hot location, but uh, should still be a ton of fun to play. Um... 
Get this guy going. Let's go down. Let's dive to the depths. And something fun. Flippant flipper. Flippant flipper is what we are going to go with. Let's do a little throwback card back. Oh, we hit him with the Atlantis. Look at that. Uh, I still need to name the deck, huh? What can we have a name? Ready to rock. That's not it. <laughs> That would be kind of a funny deck name, though. I cannot tell the why. Oh, I don't want to go to the freaking stupid albums. Let's play some Marvel Snap. Thank you for being here. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you don't, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just hit the dang subscribe button. Why isn't this working? Okay, there we go. Live from the Daily Bugle. Ah, from the Daily Bugle. Look at that, we already get one of those early, blessed early. Properly sang Daily Bugle. The Battle of the Cool Arnim Zola. Uh, Battle of the Cool Arnim Zola avatars. Look at that. C5 Galactus. I mean, that'll probably never work, but, you know, I don't have dreams. Okay. Fun and cool card. I will just feed him a hobgoblin. Ha 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 ha. Mobius players grind your gears. It's such a fun and interesting card. How could you not like it? What's there not to love, you know? Let's just fake out with Storm here. Get them worried about something that doesn't actually exist. Uh, I don't know how to follow this up. I'm pretty sure the Legion line will just lose. Wind but, maybe this lets hand. us huck a hobgoblin right. We would have to top that Galactus, which uh, is an issue. I'm not going to pretend like it's not an issue, you know? Legion right is kind of interesting. Let's just huck a hobgoblin at him. Probably lose. Very good chance that they just block this, but... What if they don't? You ever thought about that? Mm. Would've had it, too. Yeah, sure, Galactus used to exist. Escaped. Sure, Galactus used to exist back when it could move things. You can still do, like, try and do some weird stuff with it, like Shuri um, cloak things, but it's just kind of bad. Kind of bad. What's up, Choco Rain? Got beat by... No, that was their vision. I don't have vision in the deck. It was... I got it there. from Daily Bugle. You got a blue Marvel on board? He does get the Galactus buff. Yeah, he does get the buff first. Let's 
Let's get a sunspot going here. Uh, no. Uh, I asked Urkel about tomorrow. I was supposed to get back to him and then I didn't. War Machine does work with Electro, but it's usually just not that good. Works with like Sandman and all that jazz as well. Goblins? ever has got goblins. Uh, if we get Quake, we can do the main combo. I got a time a bit. I don't know if we go down the main line. We'd have to get Quake. I guess we have two draws for it. One and three. Problems if they play right this turn, then we can't do it because of the rock. I just don't think we bother. Yeah. Okay, so no Galactus this game. We try and win in other ways. Which there aren't that many, but maybe we can get a cheeky Legion win. three float on this? No, we're not going to win with a nebula right left anyway, even with three float. Maybe with five float we can get it? So, so rare. Is there a world they don't just play Annihilus right now? Does that world exist? It exists! I don't know if we're living in it though. You know what I mean? It's gotta be Nihilus, right? Holy shit. <laughs> and the Ibaku! A little icing on the icing on top. Little icing, man. Guessing they didn't draw it. <gasps> Sometimes you're living in that world. That made up world that you create in your mind to convince you to stay into games. Baku just some fun for this deck. Well, if you go like Legion Stormline, and Baku can be good. Sneak some games out. Mostly a meme, though. I mean, it's just a meme card, right? Also, plus two power in your Galactus lane. Sometimes relevant. Not often, but sometimes. This time could be interesting. Let's get a Sentinel. Always wanted one of those. And okay, this being Kiln, I think I want to Quake it to middle. This is good, they probably aren't going to play right. But they probably have some movement stuff, usually these Angel decks do. So you have two turns to get War Machine. I also try and do like a storm line, but I kind of like the idea of trying to get War Machine here. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Uncle Middle, please. Okay. The combo. If I didn't play the Sentinel, we were fine. But again, they probably have a bunch of moving stuff.
I should have played the Sentinel first. I don't want this one. Opponent snapped. Oh, it snaps, huh? I'm not gonna pretend like we're not in a bit of trouble. We can vibe though. Got a lot of points left. This is the thing. Uh, we should probably just run here. Some of these decks run location disruption. Should have just retreated now. Or should have just retreated when they snapped. Escaped. Mama Liz's chili oil. I think Mama Liz's chili oil is a funny meme. Carolina Reaper dipped in Mama Liz's chili oil. Dude really commits to the bit, and I actually, I really appreciate that. Turn off Limbo and Bluff Snapback. I feel like you don't know what a Bluff Snap is. If you think that person would retreat in the position that they're in, you're, you're, you're out of your mind. Hmm, that could be interesting. Why could you jump from hand, not deck? Why not both? Let's get the sunspot cooking. Visclave to the Helicarrier. It's gonna be a big collector. Sacred Timeline filling is actually really strong for collector too. I don't want to quake anything. Quake left, hob middle to just guarantee this. I guess. I mean, they're. Eh, might be my best chance of winning. This is what we sure got. Everybody's a big fan. My war machine. How dare you! That deck Hobgoblin can go kind of hard. Opponent snapped. Yeah, we should just run here. I don't think we, we ever get over top. Yo, big deal, Blake. Thank you so much for the seven months. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Quaking and bacon indeed. Good not morning. Probably a better way you could say that, but I appreciate the... Uh, appreciate the symbolism of your message for sure. You have some ads. You got forty-two minutes. Then I'll feed you some delicious, delicious ads. Don't you worry. Thank you for asking, Mom. And that would be better in that case. In what case? We have to pass here. We got some lines, though. We got some lines. We got some potential. Hmm. 
Let's go magic middle. We can get to a war machine, we can go quake middle. Melvious player. I think we got him here. They could call it out potentially. I'm sure several other people are running a very similar deck. Try and win in like a more traditional line. Might not be possible though. Seems quite tough. Zoo likes to flood multiple lanes. Why are you in the deck? Why are you here? Okay, let's think about this here. If they play Blarvel, we're, we're screwed. We always play the M'Baku too. Like, what could they possibly play here that wouldn't lose us the game? I can't really think of like a single card. We're winning every lane by one, and then we could win one by three. And most of their stuff affects multiple lanes. Let's try this line. Probably um, onslaught middle. Ba -do -do. Binks, the only reason you're on the TV right now is because your this wife game. thinks you're cute. And your wife thinks I'm cute. Sick. Well, thank you for thinking that I'm cute. Am I gonna keep doing off meta reports? Yeah, I'm gonna try and do one next week. Um, first one kind of fell flat, but it was expected. I didn't get, I got very few submissions for the second one. I was going to try and do it this week or last week, I guess. But uh, I'm going to try and do one on Thursday. Uh, but if you have submissions, you can do it on the uh, Discord. Uh, and you're happy to submit as many as you want. Uh, don't worry about that. Okay, we have Vault and the Legion. What the hell, dude? This card looks crazy. Mr. Sinister. Need some lower cost cards. That'll work. Thank you for the grid. Try legioning left. I feel pretty confident legioning left. I think they're gonna try and do Killmonger Surfer on the final turn. They're a piece, dude.
Yeah, C2 is a lot more likely, right? Only turn five, right? Got him. They'd Killmonger, they're beautiful Escape. watching. Oh, I thought it was a uh, surfer, like Patriot Surfer, but should have thought about the Uolatu. Many people call him. Absolutely sick frame for Cardinal over C. Uh, a lot of people use that card early on. Quake them? Ah! Yeah, I should have quaked right. Yeah, quake right was a really cool line I missed. Call out. Are your yogurt Sundays behind you? I just I switch it up. Keep it fast and loose. Fortunately we got a warmonger deck. Yeah, which means often we're in a bit of a rough spot here. Yeah, we didn't draw any of our early game cards. Probably worth just running. No real counter to this. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Escaped. Well, too straight trash. That's have you ever used them? I think unless you've played 30 games of the card, you can't call it trash. I can call it trash. <laughs> Graham! Welcome to the stream. Mm. Baku acting like Quicksilver today, man. The vortex. We're in your Discord with one post, an off meta deck. I believe that you can look at the Discord names and figure out which one. Actually, monk ass. Opponent snapped. I can't goblin. Yeah, whatever. Let's have some fun. Now I have access to Sinister London and you don't. Peace. I got a freaking Orca. Get that shit out of here. Hmm. It's so hard to land a Galactus. It's like impossible, I think. Just don't go down that route. Maybe there's some kind of guardian's deck. Double magic trigger. My face one.
Uh, hopefully they don't move this Nightcrawler middle and then play a card left that lands middle. But surely that would never happen. Surely that would never happen. He knew it. They can't buff anything else, but I don't think I can get over 20 points here, is, is the issue. I could pretend like I can. Behold my mighty hand. Goblin, right? That, that doesn't solve my issues. Snap back here. They have no way to affect this lane. So they know that if I can do anything here, I win. Yeah, I think we can get it with a snap. I think we win this with a snap almost always. Spectrum, yo? Do people run Spectrum in this list? I don't think so. Very rare to see Spectrum in this list. crazy that they stay in there some people just stay in though I thought that was a I, in my opinion that's a really good bluff snap but it doesn't always work legion mid goblin left could have actually won legion what was mid oh yeah I don't think that's correct Black Vortex was mid. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, maybe I should have taken that play. Actually wins quite a bit. Yeah, it could have been anything. Could have been an Infinite, could have been a Zola. Could have been a leader. Okay. We only have one location we can't play in. Just play a Ravona this turn. Maybe you should include infinite? Nope. Can't change your deck based on like one random situation that it would have won. Very, very bad practice. Um You always have to worry about reality stone, but we're not like super interested in actually uh, playing this seven turn game, I don't think. Like, I kind of want to just like hobgoblin, right? I hope the sneak a sneak a Galactus win would be ideal, I think. Oh, how am I going to destroy those cards?
What's the trickiest way I could try and surprise them? I feel like it's just Sunspot and Float. Ah, Jeff Wright. That's a good way to, to get the, the heat off of me. Uh, they played... Gonna be able to trick them right, chat. I think they're gonna play Spectrum right. What are you? Mobius. I don't think the trick's gonna work. I think they're probably gonna play right this turn. If I had to guess. I think I think right is pretty likely. Legion mid wins. But if they add seven here, Legion win does not win. Even though Isle of Silence is active, it still hits these cards. Legion, Legion mid certainly does not win. I would get plus two here. It'd be at one to five. Move Jeff. You're still just winning on total power, right? Six. Yeah, Legion mid never wins. Escaped. E even I don't even think if they have Spectrum, I don't even think it wins. Like, even if they don't have any way to affect the other lanes, if it's just like a blob, I, I still think that we, we lose. I might be doing the math wrong, but I'm like 90% sure. Because we could win middle, but left we have Ravona, Jeff, and a minus two, which is four, and they would just have six, right? Maybe it was tied, and they'd been tiebreaker. Spectrum hits either way. So it, do it doesn't matter. Wait, did I have M'Baku in the deck? I might have had M'Baku in the deck, actually. Maybe there was some out with M'Baku that I wasn't seeing. continue to vibe here. Is Galactus just sucker out? No, yeah, it's not very good. Uh, people are too good at getting points out in the mid game to land it, even if you ramp most of the time. Spectrum Buff does apply to ongoing cards in Isle of Silence, correct? Um, how often do you see that Spectrum variant? Uh, well, I, I just don't see it because no one plays Spectrum. <laughs> and usually if your opponent's going to play Spectrum, you, like, if you were, will lose to it, you likely retreat. So I see it very little, but I always pop off whenever I see people playing it against me. You don't think the Galactus is the problem with this deck? What is it? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Two fourteen blade. It's pretty scary, but what if they can't get middle? Ever consider that? 
Yeah, the turn seven, like Goblin, Annihilus, Century stuff is really fun. I've done, I've done that many a time. Always a, always a good time. Daddy, you never play your Bing Spectrum? Maybe you should start. Be the change you want to see in the world, yeah? And all that. I 100% have War Machine, I'm aware. Doesn't matter because I don't have the combo, unfortunately. Um, we don't have Cryo. Is that a replacement for Sunspot? Nope. Sunspot's amazing in the deck. We just haven't really done the uh, the Storm Legion line yet. Because it hasn't really presented itself. Uh, Sunspot is a very important uh, role in the deck. War Machine would have been so good there. The, the problem is that you could also have War Machine, right? Like a lot of Black Knight decks run War Machine now. Especially today. Hello, Mbaku. Thank you for being in my hands. Uh, I have watched X-Men 97. It's pretty fun. Lantis is a really nice location for Galactus, if we can make it happen. Yeah, Nebula is better in some situations, but I think for the most part, um... It's not as good. Okay, we definitely want to feign. Like we are going to three turns. We don't have War Machine or Quake, so we don't go down that line. But we can do this into... Potentially Storm Legion if we want to. Oops, summer. I actually kind of like the Legion line. I actually really like the Legion line here. It just depends on how much points they get right or left. I actually really like the Legion line. They have Jeff too. Quite unfortunate they also have Jeff here. Uh, and Mbaku's not in play. Yeah, the snap is probably for Reality Stone, would be my guess. It's kind of lucky with early vision. Escaped. This is a Time Stone vision too. They normally couldn't play this on four. It's a really lucky time stone hit. That's that's actually I'm, I'm guessing that's why they snap more than anything. Hmm. Rhinestorm is really good, yeah. Definitely my favorite. One of the better chibis out there. I love a lot of Ryan stuff. There is my sunshine. Let's go, Dara fans. Rose legitimately Quicksilver, man. He's straight up just Quicksilver.
Please don't play right. We scum snap this. Probably scum snap this. Kind of scared to snap there, but uh, hopefully you can sneak eight on him. We pretend to extend the game to seven. And Galactus on six. Playing Jeff Wright is you can't play another card there, so I don't think most people would do that. Like in general, it's not something you would normally do, right? So it would look really fishy. Because if Jeff's already right, you can't play another card there. Victory. Anyways. So I think it actually looks more fishy to play the Jeff Wright. No pun intended. Very nice win. Yeah, they knew what was up immediately. Data. How many times have I drawn him on one, man? <laughs> Season two days no trailer. That, you know, that's a really good point. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised by that too. Nebula on the right? Alright chat. Float every turn, Legion middle. Your thoughts? Let's not be do it that crazy. Right at this. We'll, we'll give him a cheeky Mbaku. We'll make him think that we're trying to go there. Wind, aid my hand. The audacity. They can't Legion if that's their plan. I could also Legion flooding away if I wanted to. You're a piece of crap. F it, we ball. No, uh, do we ball? Sus? It's not that sus. They probably have War Machine next turn, right? So they play Jessica Jones here, War Machine here, and then they get into here. It's my guess, at least. F it, we ball.
Now, how do we win? It's a different story. Chat, stop pretending you know what a stream sniper is. I'll tell you when it's a stream sniper, don't worry. I, I'm adept at knowing. Which chat will call anyone who makes a play that doesn't make sense when you're looking at your own hand and you know your plans. This, this play makes perfect sense. Especially with Vision coming down next. It does suck that I've got my goblins stuffed over and over and over again. Dude, you guys seeing this? Every time. It's like he doesn't even start in my opening hand. He jumps in on turn one just like Quicksilver does. He's he's legit doing his like best impersonation. Are we scared to play Goblin though, Nihilus? You'll lose games. It'll happen. But if you're playing a goblin and then annihilating it, you're probably losing that game anyway, right? You still spent three to five energy on nothing. Ooh, destroy decks are very hard. Get rid of their double destroy garbage. This could be Skillmonger, pretty likely. Trying to double skill longer the X23 and boost up to six. It's a swolver, okay. Maybe we get a scam here. Just depends if they have Killmonger. Enough said, Bob. I definitely need to change my underwear. They don't Killmonger this turn. We should be okay. Full float on six gives us a bunch left. We're gonna be up eleven, right? Yeah, Storm Legion line is great here. So this, this is why Sunspots in the deck. People were asking why Sunspots in the deck. It's for this exact line. Oh, it's not Skillmonger. Pog. Wait, no, they destroyed X23. It still can't be Skillmonger. Oh, you pace! Oh! What a game! Huzzah! <laughs> you fool. And the Jeff to top it off. Why not? Why not give me the Jeff to top it off? The Jeffrey off the top. Victory! That was a hard game to fit a snap into. Maybe I should have thought about it, but... Maybe, maybe I should have tried to sneak a snap into it. It would be a shame if you had all those awesome cards in your hand that you couldn't play. Yeah, that last turn was probably like an old, uh, like, 8 power Deadpool too. Very scary stuff. Next game, we have to do a ad break. Uh, so make sure you remind me, otherwise it'll be your fault. War Machine into Legion on Kiln would be crazy. No, it's the same line, right? It's the exact same thing. Very little difference. I guess it's a bit more power, but it's certainly something we could do. Okay, Goblin should be very annoying for our opponent. Another Skillmonger deck, unfortunately. Bona. 
Ravona into Hobgoblin's pretty appealing. Maybe do Legion line too. Not nearly as appealing, but it kind of guarantees like a win middle. You know what we should do then? We should Ravona right, Hobgoblin right, Legion. No, wait, hit the storm. What am I talking about? Yeah, this is fine. Man. Okay, this is Brood left, most likely. We're looking really good. I think I snap here. I don't think they're getting nine plus power here. I think this is a snap. Now oh, Jeff has to stay middle for Nova. They'll probably sniff out what the line is, but I don't know if they can do anything about it. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts bad. Oh, Big Shaw is hard. I don't know if the line's gonna work. There's a chance. I think we still have to go down it. Like, I don't love having to go down the line, but I think we have to. Yeah, Baku could have won us that game for sure. Like, if they just played big card right. Or like, Sarah right. And Baku could have saved the day. It's just Sarah right. Is it tied on total power? It's tied on total power. Dude, if Baku was in the deck, he would just win. Hmm. There's no way they have Jeff, right? Switch to Galactus line? Uh, that's not... So flooded, then go Quake left. Hmm, I could have done the Galactus. No, because you need War Machine for the Galactus line. Yeah, maybe I should have snapped there. I probably should have snapped there. I already snapped. I can't snap again. Ads! Alright, we're going to run three minutes ads. If you don't want to see ads, you can pay $5. You can check to see if you have a Twitch Prime subscription available. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. See you in three minutes. Bandle time, baby! It's Bandle time. Yes, it is. Okay, Bandle. 2006. 2006. 381 million YouTube views. And catch this, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Difficulty very hard. They're saying on average, you will get it on the fifth one, which is the voice cover. So difficulty very hard. Keep that in mind as you as you vote. 2006, that's actually kind of like a good area for me to, um, to, to know music, I would say. Uh, but we'll give you a minute to vote, then we'll, we'll be back and we'll do it. See you in a second. What's Bandle? It's a game where you get to uh, hear parts of a song in like a ringtone MIDI type format. And you have to guess what it is based on the pieces. Start with the drums. <laughs> yeah, 
Um. I can't think of what the song is. I feel like it's like almost like a Green Day type joint. Not when September ends. Okay, we'll go bass. I do have chat closed, so guess away. Uh, this isn't like Beverly Hills, is it? Beverly Hills. Okay, we're gonna skip. song in my head but I can't get to it really nice piano looking there is this like a this is like a gorilla song right I feel like this is a gorilla song is this Clint East one I gotta hear the voice cover. Dude, I don't know it. Anyone in chat have it? Anyone in chat have it? It's an Amy Winehouse? Or is the song Amy Winehouse? It's not Amy Winehouse. Ghost face? It's not in there, chat. You know I'm no good? Why wasn't I looked I literally typed in Amy Winehouse. It wasn't showing up. Amy Winehouse, you know I'm no good. Very good. Thank you, chat. Uh, that is a payout for the doubters. Why do I think that Amy Winehouse is like an 80s? <laughs> Am I crazy for thinking that? <laughs> I don't know why. Like the name Amy's Amy Winehouse. Um feels like it's like an 80s artist. I don't I don't know why. Just in my mind. Yes, I am for that. Uh, that's fine. I have a lot of I have a lot of crazy things that go on up here. Boss sinister. I believe if I move three of these and then do this, I believe this will work because the first one will go, then three more will go and it will fill. And then I can Galactus on six. She went to music school with Adele. He was an old soul. Just joining this first thing I hear. What are you going to do, man? Snap it? I, I will. Just wait.
longer scared of the Jeffs. The army of Jeffs. Yeah, I also hope they fix gun snapping. The fact that you can't end your turn after your opponent's gun snaps is a huge oversight. Because that is the main reason people wanted to undo, undo in turn. No, it still works. Unfortunately. <laughs> after your opponent snaps, you can't unend your turn. They made it so you can unend your turn. They just did it bad. <laughs> they, just, they just fricked it up. Is the thing. Wow. The Thanos players will somehow find a way to get Mind Stone on one. No matter what you do. There's one thing that's... Okay, they're gonna Mobius, but... Um, we have the blocker for it. So Mobius isn't nearly as devastating as they want it to be. Yeah, you can't undo your turn if your opponent snaps. It's really annoying. Yeah, they said they're working to fix it. Mmm, Mobius player, huh? A Mobius player. Maybe lock him out middle. If we lock him out middle, we get a free Galactus if we can get to it. Ah, they don't play middle. I limbo. Okay. Beating a Mobius snap feels good. I tell you what. You got it, Junior. No, I believe in you. Uh, you're welcome to post it in the Discord. Uh, I don't really look at ducks on stream. But I am looking for submissions for the Off Matter Report in the Discord for next week. Slash this week. That tax is a milestone on one. They're inevitable, yeah. Uh, I don't know if there will ever be a world where Mbaku is good now. Hmm. Maybe we can Ravona double goblin middle and then get War Machine and... Oh man! I knew you were going to do that. I wouldn't have done this. No Galactus is the game plan. Ah, ha, 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 We hold the quake. I think we'll quake middle. Move the fist tower. Oh, your shit's gonna move. You absolute fool. too bad. A lot of these decks don't run, um... A lot of these decks... Like, they're probably trying to finish with Cannonball, right? Problem is, I think Cannonball will just win. 
Maybe fart, yeah. No, they can't fart, because Jeff just beats them if they fart. Oh wait, they can't cannonball me. Wait, we should just win then. Oh! Hog Sea Enjoyer. Taskmaster's gonna wreck you. These decks usually don't run uh, Taskmaster. Oh, come on! You're gonna run the Bank Special and then flick me off in front of everyone? Audacity. Obvious Heimdall, so true. play Dr. Octopus, you should also play Shang-Chi. Why, why don't you see that? It's gotta be a good feeling indeed. Get out of my hand, M'Baku! You stupid idiot! I'm getting fed up, man. two lines we can go down. We can magic into Galactus here on six. Yeah, that sounds good. Because we could also storm, storm in a legion. A lot of stuff they can do that gets us though. I don't like magic into Galactus left on the final turn. At the very least, it's a tie, right? Like, it's very rarely not a tie. It's it's very, it's almost always like a tie. Yeah, see, we would have gotten blown out if we had done that. I'm really happy we didn't make that that line. But at the very, at the very least, like, the worst that can usually happen is that it becomes a tie. I guess they can block it with vision now. Like, vision left, reality stone right is a problem. Probably what they're doing, unfortunately. Let the world burn. You always actually can't win with the next turn. The problem is, is that they're going to Reality Stone this turn. Like vision left, Reality Stone right is a very, very likely play. Quake right would go pretty hard. We're just going to let everything burn. Undo Galaxy left now? Never tell me what to do. What about that? Wow, we win. Hmm. Undo galaxy left now. Undo galaxy left now. Oh my gosh, I'm so smart. I know what to do. Now, would that have won two? Yes. This is less risk adverse.
And we gotta blow up all their cards. While making them still look at the board. So the reason behind that is, what do we lose to if we do that, right? Because I'm scared of Reality Stone right. That, that's a very likely play, in my opinion, anytime we face Thanos. So with Legion left, if they do Vision left, Reality Stone right, which is what I was expecting, then it's just a tie. Um, if they had done that in a Galactus, then it's a loss, right? So I'd much rather go for something that, at worst, will pretty much tie, right? But much, much more healthy play to go through. I can't even use that in the video because I just made fun of that person so hard. Because it pisses me off when people in YouTube chat think they can just tell me what to do. It's so annoying, dude. The, the tone that some people use infuriates me. <laughs> I always have to, I always have to remember that it's like a lot of times it's a language barrier issue. Uh, is, is how a lot of, um, Things that annoy me with people's tones online happen. Just tough. Quick right was cool too. This sucks. That's why I play in not chat. So true, actually. You peace. Wind aid my hand. Dracula makes us very, very hard. Maybe their Dracula sucks ass. Ah, we'll go. How's it going now, the match? We're getting beat up, but this is a, definitely a fun deck more than a uh, competitive deck. What do you think about Mbaku being set as the 10th card in the deck at the start of the game? Uh, so you're saying it would be Chavez, but stronger? I think that would probably be in every single game, in every deck, forever. That sounds like Chavez that you don't have to draw, gives you the same consistently, and you get a free two power at the end of the game. Uh, GG backed. That was you that I was playing. Yeah, most people's like changes to Mbaku just make the card the best card in the game and they don't they don't really realize why. Yeah, it would literally be in every deck. There would be you would be throwing if you didn't put that in your deck for sure. Huck a goblin at him. Could also like chaos rain with Legion if you want. It's always fun. Pick a Baku 1 3 and it's good stats. Yeah, but then you have to like change every two drop or one drop to be a 1 3, right? Which is maybe not a bad idea, but like Zoo decks and one drop decks are actually very strong right now. Fortunate. All right, hear me out though. <laughs> we quake into Galactus left. No, because they already have five power there. It wouldn't work. Plus, this is going to swap everywhere.
Might just be playing Stats War Machine this turn. Rain. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, we might actually be able to land the Galactus right now. It's still very rare. But it, this does open up the gate for us to maybe do it. Which is exciting in and of itself. Plays it for War Machine in this deck? Uh, find a different deck. I haven't turned to Zola. Why? You gotta try and speak things like that into existence. If that is any other 5 drop, I win. Stream Sniper? Hey, you know, interestingly, I think they were just not wanting to get Goblined. Would be the, the best, my best guess as to why they did that. Any other 5 drop, we win. That's really annoying. Obviously, a Stream Sniper? You just like. Here's the thing, right? They, they just wanted to fill everything. I really don't think it's a... I really don't... I, I don't think this is a sniper. It might be. Like, why wouldn't you want your pixie to be a two power? If they knew I was going to Legion middle, why would they do that? It's so much better to not do that. Nah, the problem with Galactus is that it it ch it checks its trigger at 5 power. So it'll check to see if it has 5 power. And then it won't trigger. And then it'll change. You still have to win the Galactus. And then it'll change. If it was anything other than Hobgoblin, we get an easy win. That's, that's very, very unlucky. I think people are saying Stream Sniper because they fulfilled that turn. Uh, because they would never think to do that. But I don't think it was a bad play. Kind of an interesting play. Mr. London. Probably have to get rid of that. But this should give us Pryo? Yeah, this should, does give us Pryo. It's quite nice. We take one turn with Green Goblin first. As we might lose Pryo. Yeah, let's take one turn. We're not going to lose Pryo. Very calm. Now, this is still very hard to Galactus, because they're going to fill it with something, most likely, right? We do have priority, and we can stop them from doing anything on Sinister anymore. Pretty good, I, this is a pretty good chance I can win here. I said maybe Forge for M'Baku. Bad. Victory. 
Oh, you mean switch M'Baku and Forge. I thought you meant <laughs> add Forge to your deck to buff your M'Baku. <laughs> that makes some sense. Nah, we're running M'Baku because we're we're real. We're him. If you're if you're not him, then you then you can run something else. I've never been to Europe, no. Um I've never been outside of North America. I've been to several countries around. I've been to Mexico, I've been to Canada, I've been to a bunch of uh, countries in the, the Caribbean and stuff. I've never been outside of North America. One of my biggest flaws, I would say. Literally anything for M'Baku is optimal, not Quicksilver. Even though they're kind of playing the same role right now. You're not him? Yeah, you could change it for sure. He's pretty much just acting as Quicksilver. I, he's jumped out of the deck once when we already won. Hmm. I don't know if our Galactus line exists. You know what's an interesting idea? We more machine into kiln on six. Then just hope they don't play 10 power left. I don't think this ever works, unfortunately. Now, actually, there is a world where they play Vision Middle this turn. There is a world where they play Vision Middle this turn. Also, I have no idea what the hell they're playing. Oh. The cloak someone fit in the deck? Oh, you could try. It'd probably be really bad, though. There's a decent chance they just play middle there. Not huge. Decent though. Our deck, yeah, this deck is gonna lose the most things. Yeah, they'll make him a 5-4. I mean, a 5-4 in Baku is a lot better, right? How the red is in this deck? Why are you asking that question? Why do you care? These are questions I wanna know. Breaking news. Ooh. Okay, that's actually really good intel. Very good intel. Morbid curiosity? Tough, man. Why does morbid curiosity sound so... Like, like an awful thing? Like, isn't morbid like a really... Like bad word? Not like bad word, but it's like like an intense word. OK, 
Okay, I can't do the quake line. Cannot do the quake line. Yeah, it means deadly, right? You when deadly curiosity? My hand. You got you got deadly curiosity? Get that checked out. I don't know what I'm doing right now. There's an odd chance they have Doom. There, there's a small chance they would have Doom. Why do they have five left? Oh, it's gotten two Misty Night hits? I wonder if they're gonna leech me. I think they're leechers. Ooh! It's a Jeff. I say we almost we almost got him. Baku, you had one friggin' job, man. Supposed to stay in the dang deck. Energy they play last turn five, they have seven. This is what we got. Everybody's a big fan. Are they winning? Retreat, can you explain why? Because you're a coward? What can they do with seven? Like just play Hulk, right? Losing is a good reason? Are you gonna explain how I lose? Just because you're scared because they have Pixie? They win mid with Jeff? Man, it'd really suck if I didn't have a way to counter that. Pixie's a, a, an interesting reason. I don't really know how much they have. What they say winning room. Close game. Crazy we would have double played left if we had it. Ah, uh, and they get the Misty Night trigger. They grilled cheese now. Rainbow Pet! Thank you so much for your resubscription. I appreciate it. Eight months. Uh, as a roll, you're at peace. Um, yeah, I think it should definitely come from hand, too. It should definitely come from hand as well. He's flown out of my deck exactly one time. It's rough, man. He could have saved me that game.
Let's hope we can land this. Nice. It can still get us with a um, a Modok this turn, unfortunately. If they have Modok right now, the meat can just go middle to cover. But we'll probably just win with points, right? A lot of points. I wonder if they even bother with Meeking Middle. I think this card swarms, right? So this turn is just Apocalypse. So, one situation I could see is move Meek Middle, Apocalypse right. Um, we beat that with Hobgoblin Jeff right. Another very likely play is just keep Meek where it's at and play Apocalypse on top of it. We could beat that with Hobgoblin Middle Jeff, right? I don't think Meek goes middle. It could also go Meek right, Apoc left. There's a lot of different, um, it's a lot of different iterations of how they could do this. I think Meek Middle and Apocalypse Right is probably their best chance of winning. Let's play around that. Damn it, he's so smart. Oh, no, he's not because he can't do basic math. Why did I think that would win? Uh, when the math doesn't math, chat. When the math doesn't math. I was so sure that would work. I think I was counting us as tied, not them being up by two. Chat, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Um... Um, Baka stays in the deck. I guarantee you. Hey yo, Kaiba! Thank you so much for the T3! I super appreciate you. Thank you for being an awesome part of this community. Thank you, thank you. Don't you think about it. I, he's gonna stay in the deck, chat. There's there's no world where Mbaku doesn't stay in the deck. Technically, you're winning left. Uh, you don't. You haven't read the card. Okay, let's make them think they have more time. So that they wait, hold off on Spectrum. Ah, dude. Wait, we can actually play Green Goblin and Galactus at the same time. That's fresh as hell, dude.
Cheater. Did they ever leave middle? I mean, if they're smart, they won't. There has been a lot of zoom. Maybe we should slot Killmonger in. Green Goblin's risky. Nice, okay. I force Mbaku to land in the right place? Like, can I get a joke Mbaku win by doing... Oh, I can't play right. Wait, hold up. This goes to 18. Wait, are the, can I only full tie? Wait, can I not win? Uh, fine, I won't do the Mbaku win. Fine, fine, fine. I was trying I was trying to set up a win. I was trying to set up a win so that it would look like I wasn't gonna win and then Mbaka would make me win. Because because that'd be funny. <laughs> could have forced a grilled cheese in Mbaku? I don't think I could have. I was trying to calculate it, and I think that if I had moved Jeff left, Legion left, we tie there. But then we lose three middle. And then we gain back one with the Sunspot and two with the Storm. That would tie middle and then M'Baku would have tied right. The, the problem is that M'Baku jumping right only ties and we only had enough power on our side. Um... We only had enough power in our side to... Um, it's so much zoom, man. We only had enough power on our side to uh, get a full tie between everything. I mean, and that, that obviously doesn't, doesn't work. Don't play Storm Soak. Yeah, no, Storm Cost 2, yeah. Same amount of float. They have my Galactus. That's true. True, true. That's true. Bum, bum. Yeah, I could not do an Mbaku one. It sucks. I wish I could have. It was just a little bit, a little bit off the curve. You gonna turn off my limbo, you little bitch? Well, they'll probably turn off the kiln, but they'll actually turn off limbo on accident? That's actually all according to my uh, plan. Force them to turn off my limbo. Genius. Never mind. Hey yo, Elowski! Thank you so much for the big raid. I super appreciate it. Uh, 
Uh, a lousy, a lousy, a lousy or a lousy, a lousy or a lousy. You like the alert? I'm glad you like it. This turn for them is almost always um, larval, right? I don't know if you can set up a win against larval. Like with like legion scams. Maybe we go for a psychotic Galactus. And then if it fails, we just retreat. Because it'll most likely fail, but then we can just run. Also, after the blue marvel effect came off, it would only be a tie. I don't know what I was really thinking there. It's actually kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, I would have get wrecked. But it, it's on Limbo, so I would have had an extra turn. So it actually probably played into my favor, right? Because it would go to turn 7 still. So we could have won it, we would have been tied, but then they have only one space to play. They probably only have like Onslaught, and then we have whatever we want. But I mean, they were always playing uh, something there. It's very, very rare that it would work. But I think that was my best line to not lose. Does Jeff move order matter there? Dude, I actually don't know. Because I was noticing that weird too when I was like practicing this deck a little bit before stream. No, but get wrecked on the board. The power changes in move order. Let's let's try and test that. Because the the power changes in order of resolve. So if you notice on your opponent's turn, like, if they move cards, the, the points don't resolve until after the move resolves. I feel like someone would have found that before, though. I feel like someone would have figured that out before. It would be crazy if no one's figured that out at this point. Yeah, it feels like it would be known. We can get to War Machine. We can set up some some nastiness. All location. Ah, that's a great point. Correct. All location power goes away, and the new one comes. No, you're totally right. You're totally right. Get wrecked. That's exactly how it would work. Yeah. Hundred percent right there. Are we trying to save up, like, any Galactus juice? I hated how that sounded.
Probably just a Lyoth left anyway. Seen this wave Galactus Hobgoblin combo ever and it's driving me insane. Let's play around at forehead. Turn five Elias. Yeah, they played Time Stone, obviously. Time Stone always hits the card that you're most scared of. Fact. Stefan. Two Jeffs. And that could change. Timestone hit their Eliath, making it five cost. Is the thing. Snap on two Jeffs. So true. Space Stone to stay alive. <laughs> I want this to stay alive. Juker in dot. Definitely a cannonball deck. Hmm. What's our setup here? Yeah, War, War Machine would let me play Space Stone, correct. Play the correct Jeff. Second Juggernaut. Storm scan them. Actually, actually, fuck off. Quake, man. Probably have Legion. I'll just go Legion middle here. again. I mean, he keeps my Hop Goblin there. It doesn't really matter. The audacity. The audacity to double Quake me. Hey, Stefan. Alright, let's run ads after the next game. Make sure to remind me, otherwise it's your fault. If there was a really good chance that they would Legion that turn, or turn off uh, Limbo, I, I, I would have done a third Quake. And fist bump that asshole? Why are they an asshole? Because they they better than me? Do you think that everyone who's better than you is an asshole? Or who outperforms you is an asshole? Like you gotta, you gotta think about like why that is. On that throne, he was taunting. It was a good play. Hey. 
not fair. Everyone who beats me in Marvel Snap is a bad person. So true. Damn, I almost goblin right, and that would have soul deleted them. Yeah, I probably have Killmonger though, so it doesn't matter. Come on, go right, Wolverine. Go right. You know it must be done. Yes. He says moments before getting skillmongered. comes out it turns off limbo also I can't win with Galactus because of these cards and I, I always forget that I always forget that I just can't Galactus against the Destroy though. It is Legion. Is this gonna bring more cards out? It is. Top tech battle. Oh, that's a shit top deck. That top deck sucks ass. Okay, they could have top decked. Opponent snapped. Uh, death. Skillmonger. Uh, the snap indicates to me that they think it's Skillmonger. Which is very, very hard to beat. Zola, Zola always loses, chat. Zola loses 100% of the time. Now, they already played Hulkbuster. Death is... 6? So it's Death, maybe Zola, maybe Sean, or Skillmonger. Or, yeah, wait, or, or, um, I feel like that was a bluff snap, but I also can't really win. I'm going to call out your bluff, you piece. Wind, aid my hand. Cheater. What a game. It is more power not to storm. Yeah, because we always lose the Killmonger anyway. It's a great point. Knowing that we always lose to Cam, we should have just floated. I need to run ads. Alright, we're going to run through minutes ads. If you don't want to see the ads, you can pay $5. Or you can check to see if you have a Twitch Prime sub available by clicking the subscribe button. There's a little Prime toggle. You might have one and not even know it. It's a free way that you can help support your favorite streamer. Uh, be that myself or someone else. Uh, I just hope that it's in the Snap community to help us grow and flourish. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. See you in three minutes. Anything we want to juice up? Well, we're still far away from any Galactus split. How much work have we done on Legion? It'll only be the third split. Edge. Fake only has 190 boosters. Jeff, we have some pretty nice splits of already. Bone is nowhere close. We can go for like a carnival split on Sunspot. Ooh, let's go actually Dan Hip Sunspot. Let's go Dan Hip Sunspot. So we have one, two, three, four. This would be the fifth split. 
No, one, one, two, three, four. This would be the fifth split for Sunspot. Can be gold. It cannot be Crackle. Get your bets in, bet your pieces. Infinity. Um, and I will see y'all. Why are some splits locked? I don't know. It's just like a freaking glitch. It's awful. Uh, I'll see you in a minute. Thanks to Juggle for the stream. You gotta pay for it. Surfer baby skin confirmed for today? I don't know, man. I don't follow any of that stuff. I'm being honest with you. I just let the world surprise me, you know? I don't really look at data mines. I just let things happen. All right, see what we get. Thank you for enjoying the ads. Orange Stake so hard. Are you talking about Balatro? The game that I play every single day over on my second channel and I post a run every day for you to watch. Do you know I post a Balatro video? Uh, 20 of the last 21 days on there. Isn't that crazy? You should go check it out. Check out the Believers, by the way. Uh, let's, let's run that version. That was a cool card. I kind of like it at infinite. I've always really liked the rainbow effect with infinite. Nice Marvel snap. Try gray border? You already saw it with gray border. I didn't like it. It's all right. There's one thing in this world that is consistent. It is M'Baku being in my hands. Let's try M'Baku left into uh, Magic left. Goblin and Krakow is like actually something I considered because I thought it'd be kind of funny. If it hit Hobgoblin. Uh, man, they have priority. That sucks. They broke them? It's fine now, right? Okay, nice. So they don't get a Krakoa buff.
If I was them, hmm, well, I can't goblin this turn. This is fine. <laughs> Where'd Binks get the sick wrestler Mbaka variant? Ah, Voipa. Have any Galactuses yet? Um, <laughs> maybe not actually. As sad as that sounds. Escaped. Not Legion? Would that help me? Would Legion just fill everything, and I would still be behind. I don't know if Legion would help there. Really shouldn't be tanking my rank like this. <laughs> yes, you would have won. I would not have, but. Thank you for being confidently wrong if you're going to be wrong. I prefer people to be confidently wrong if they're going to be wrong, you know? Maybe set up War Machine, Legion left. confident here. We have War Machine and the Legion. It's pretty problematic for our opponent. And Mbaku's still in the deck. Plus, Lechigia helps us ideally keep uh, Mbaku in the deck. Alternatively, let's just try and set up a quake. I think we have to do this though. Loses to plenty of stuff, unfortunately. Man. I don't know if we had a better out. Like, potentially, we could try and do, um, Quake Middle to swap, and then something else middle. This doesn't work, though. It's close. It's also not enough, unfortunately. The, the two jump wouldn't be good. They really wanted to win left? It seemed like the right thing to do. Like, usually if you're that deck, you just kind of want to stack everything, and then just like win with like your She-Hulk stuff. Are the She-Hulk early? I mean, they're only play last turn with Sunspot, so they soaked four energy. Try and set up our Quake stuff this game. If 
we can. Still need War Machine and Galactus to make it work. But we have a lot of draws. And most likely Hella. That's, a, that's an issue. That is indeed an issue. Baku in the hand. Exactly where you want him to be. We get Legion, we could have a pretty nasty Legion middle line. I probably shouldn't have done this, but like I, I don't think I can rely on drawing exactly War Machine into Galactus. You want your zero power ebony blade? This turn for them is just hella. I don't think we can stop it. Our hell is pretty huge, right? Death Gob, Lob. Yeah, either one of those lands right, we lose right, and then we lose left. Tough. Escaped. Well, I could should say if your deck at the end of the game flies up for plus eight power. <laughs> plus eight power is a lot, man. You could just lock John into your deck if you get that much of a return. I've always said it should destroy a random card from your opponent. I think that'd be awesome. It could fly out to your opponent's side and destroy one of their cards at that location lands. So they get the two power, but then they also get a random destroy. A lot of fun stuff could happen there. Second, fifth. If you're in here, leave the stream, please. Best of luck to you. Yeah, destroy would be really cool. Ooh, look at that. They're getting rocks in our deck. Surely M'Baku will stay in there now. M'Baku freaking loves rocks. Many people have said this. I quake. Do magic this turn. Alright, is this just a zoo deck that has cord? Baku! Never listens to me, chat. Wake right, Hobgoblin middle, Galactus middle. Easiest wins of my life. Is it always infinite, chat? This is the question we ask ourselves. Is it always infinite? Four cards in hand? 
Infinite's the only Infinite and Destroyer are the only two card. cards in hand, man. Four cards in hand. Ah, you had Agatha. That hurts even worse. It would have been sweet if it was Agatha. Got the zoo deck or just vibe for six turns. You do be vibing. You you were, you were sincerely vibing. Is War Machine good? All the stats say that uh, War Machine is pretty bad. Uh, and I think it's probably a fair assessment of the card. So many cards from your own deck, man. Yeah, what could go wrong? So many things. So many things is the answer, chat. I didn't know that happened. That, that was actually sick. <laughs> Have you ever heard the echo of two of those playing at the same time? <laughs> this land is always changing. Character is that supposed to be? No idea. What is Weird World? Is Weird World where they go in Guardians of Galaxy 3? It's different, right? Mm. Zikin. Was Counter Earth? Counter Earth. some wins with War Machine Legion. Here's some wins with War Machine Legion. Probably have Jeff in the deck, though. We have Jeff in the deck. Consider this.
tough. That arrowed, man. See that card very often. A rarity, to be sure. It looked a lot like one of the decks that I had in the uh, the off meta report. Weird World is part of the domain of Battle World. I've... Why do people take this stuff seriously? Blood said Weird World is also the domain of Battle World. Go back to roll text. Nah, she was pretty toxic. How do they play four cards? Behold my mighty hand. Her only win con. Hope they don't survive on this turn. Jesus. Escaped. Played they played four cards, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you enjoyed Broken Arrow? I bet you enjoyed being on that side of it. Luckiest opponents on Earth? A little bit. I mean, the deck is obviously quite flawed, right? At its core. It's a very flawed deck. But I do also think I'm getting very unlucky with a lot of stuff. I think it's a bit less of, um, I feel like it's a little bit less of, um, my opponent's getting lucky and, and ah, I guess a little bit of both. It's me getting unlucky, man, is the problem. Right is the location they want to fight for. So it doesn't really lend to my War Machine Quake line. Maybe a spare. Uh, I have qualms with Reality Stone drawing because Reality Stone says transform this location to a new one. That happens. Then its text should not let it finish. It's and it's fricked up that they let that happen. I do anything funky with Quake here. Kind of. That vision's going nowhere. That vision ain't going nowhere, buddy.
Still confident, huh? I don't really have a way to win right, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I just can't beat Thanos. Is there a world where there's the Lyoth left, though? Like, a Lyoth and Jeff left? And just don't expect me to win right? There's a world. It's kind of rare. Because it's sunspot, it would make it like, really dumb. How was I just? I can't do this. Like this just doesn't work. Just lose to Jeff left. thought about that. Certainly do not think about that. Space Stone. It wasn't moved because of Vision, it was moved because of Space Stone. That one hurt. That was very confusing. That one broke my mind a little bit. Bond. Welcome to the stream. You know, statistically, 25% of games in Baku should still be in my deck at the end. That's just if we go by statistics. Oh, thank you for the Titania. They don't use Aunt Maze this turn? They do. Okay. <laughs> Legion Light isn't too bad here. still isn't all that bad actually. Nick 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 nick. Got him. Um <laughs>
Reduce the swan there. I mean, here's the thing. Like, people think that you need to play swan and get a ton of value off of it. And I think that that's why most people misplay the card. Like, it sucks if you hit no, none one drops. Like, three fives are just still really good stats for cost. I think people will just hold swan, hold swan, hold swan, and then they realize they have to play it on turn five or they don't get value. Washington, D.C. Okay. All we're missing is War Machine for the combo. a bit more for the combo I'd initially given it credit for you're definitely definitely going to turn seven Nimrod. <laughs> it's gonna be Nimrod, isn't it? It's gonna be Nimrod, isn't it? Like we have Shang Chi. Victory. Got him. Sometimes you don't need the card, chat. You just need the threat of the card. Works. Works all the same. If you're M'Baku, yeah, they thought M'Baku was still in my deck. Good point. Lyoth is under the chat? I mean, they weren't scared of a Lyoth, they were ahead. They were scared of Shang-Chi because they can't do anything about it. The Nimrods have nowhere to go, they actually die. Where's the Quake Galactus gameplay? I, I'm gonna be honest. Kakashin, I feel like you kind of mean well, but you've been really annoying all day. I'm gonna give you a day, let you think about what you've done. Opponent snapped. You've just been you've just been yapping a lot. <laughs> and then you say, where's the gameplay of the deck that you're currently playing? And it's just I just don't understand. I don't I don't know I don't I don't know how to deal with, with someone like you sometimes. Um, probably brood right. So we try goblin left quake middle and hope for brood right abs man middle. And then we get war machine. I 
Mas Jeff. One machine. Peace. Mm, that's smarter than friendly neighborhood Spider Man here. Ah, I still get full. Time War Machine. Right on time. Hmm. Even like a magic would have been fine. So close, man. We play for a tie, we just don't we don't have enough energy, man. Yeah, it's smarter than to stay in. That's a hard thing to figure out if you want to stay in or not. You can always Galactus, right? Yeah, it was so close to working. That that's been the the that's been what's happening the whole stream though, man. Just like an, an inch away from greatness. Nightcrawler? Nah, it's a bad card in the deck. Like what do you cut for Nightcrawler? M'Baku? It might be better than M'Baku, but... One, one of these days M'Baku won't be in our starting hand. Parker! You miss old Galactus? I miss 6-7 Galactus. I miss 6-7 Galactus. I don't really miss 6-2 or 6-3 Galactus. These cards weren't fun or interesting. Like 6-7 Galactus wasn't interesting at all. What's up, Earl? We're the favorite deck because they're negative, right? Magic kind of sucks for them, or TBA kind of sucks for them. Just get ahead everywhere and then uh, kill Mong or War Machine. Nice, good stuff. Victory. Jubilee can be good for them, they're a negative deck. Negative decks don't. Very rarely run Jubilee. 6-6? Six, six, yeah, I think 6-6 six, six is fine. 6-7 six, was still a bit of a problem. I think probably now Power Creep has made it so that 6-7 six, wouldn't be a problem. The only reason that 6-7 Galactus was a problem is that it was right after Eliath came out, everyone was just playing Eliath Galactus decks. And people hated that. Understandably so. I, I just, I don't know what to do, man. Let's turn whatever they were going to play left into a random two drop. Just, just because, as a joke. Ah, they got Sunspot. How, how awesome. Exactly what I wanted to have happen. 
You might think that by my intonation I'm lying, but that was exactly what I wanted. To, get the, to have them get a much stronger, better card. I would give them a 3-drop if I Goblin left, yes. Is indeed how the interaction works. I think we go for Psycho Galactus middle on um, 6. Very good chance it doesn't work, but... It gives us outs, which is important. Let's get ahead by a lot left. Make them feel like they want to play for left. Fortunately, I can't Legion right because I gave my opponent a Sunspot. <laughs> More right, probably. So now, ideally, we're encouraging them to fight for left. With this play, so like, okay, you got right kind of locked up, but maybe I get back. So we're encouraging them to try and compete left, hopefully. Then we'll try and land a Galactus, because uh, they have priority. Even if it fails, it doesn't matter, but if it lands, then we win. I Tough. am Groot. That's the thought process behind that. It's just it's just kind of taking a, taking a swing at something that's very hard to make work. No, Maku would be fine if you jump from your hand. I think they've said that they want to make that happen. It's just a VFX thing. They'd have to, like, completely change the VFX. I don't think a Maku would be a problem at all if you jump from hand. And we have Proxima Midnight, right? I don't mind Eliath in the game either. I think Eliath is a fine card. I think that most of the people who complain about Galacti or like Goliath now just don't understand how to play around him outside of on turn six. But Goliath is a card you should start playing around on like turn three as you're setting up your board. Um, but people won't, people won't like to hear that. Mini Angel go for him? Yeah. And they, it took him a long time to do that because they had to change all the VFX. No Nico left is is interesting. Interesting choice to be sure. Wind aid my hand. Very annoying that they played right here. Ooh, we should have them, I think. Wow. This is a very stupid snap. I would like it to be known. It's like completely counting on getting War Machine. I also have Nightcrawler, which bit problematic. Got another chance for War Machine. Wind aid my hand. Still have a chance for War Machine.
just can't win middle with Goose. Watch the next card be War Machine. It always is. It always is. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're just we're just kind of cooked. Probably Nightcrawler anyway. Echo. Imagine we had like Gladiator though. Ooh wee. Tough man. I'm getting incredibly unlucky. Like my opponents are all playing well, but it just hurts, man. Had a Baku jump out of the deck twice total. I mean my deck is literally tailor made for this, so. Why didn't I play Sunspot? Thoughts on any skill marker clear out locations? No, I don't. I don't think it's that good. They could just refill them afterwards, and it doesn't work on the, the curve. Undo? Yeah, that's true. True, true. That's true. Play around. I mean, if I'm them, I'm never playing Hobgoblin, I don't think. I kind of want a magic over Legion, but it also gives them more time. Yeah, I think we just hope Legion passes enough. Are they really infinite? Right on time, by the way, Hobgoblin. Doesn't matter, six is just not enough. Fuck me, dude. Escaped. Yeah, I'm guessing that's another deck similar to mine. Don't tell me what other people were playing. Potential here. Baku's still in the deck. Ooh, to me, this is definitely a War Machine Legion game. To me, this is absolutely a War Machine Legion game. I think this is 100% a War Machine Legion game. Like passing on five was better, knowing there was basically a zero percent chance 
they hard to get flexibility on six? What kind of flexibility would I have? Binx is a meanie? That's your name on Twitch? Just got back, how's the deck performing? We actually had like four Galactuses in a row, which is pretty sweet. The Lux really turned around. So that's pretty awesome. It was really bad for a while, but like recently I've hit like, is it five Galactuses in a row chat? I think it's five Galactuses in a row, right? Yeah, and Mbaku, that was the first time I've drawn Mbaku in my opening hand in like an hour. It's crazy. It is five? Dude, let's go. Piece of shit's just gonna have Forge Galactus abs, man, isn't he? Just Nico? Just a destroy deck the whole time? Just merely a destroy deck the whole time. Pronounce oh, Galacta? Yeah, my bad. Okay, it's good that that's out of the way. like 120 130 percent i think something like that it's actually a lot better than usual actually nice to not have priority here really nice to not have priority here because that means that the galactus will only got off if it works now there is a chance they get to like four the galactus goes off and then the x23 loses it's actually much better to do it with non-priority than with priority, uh, based on how the new Galactus works. So if they have like Carnage or Deathlock or something like that, it'll just go off first, which will stop the Galactus from going off and then won't lose me the game. But again, the only, like if it's exactly Carnage middle, if it's just Carnage middle, it'll still go off. Okay. It's actually, if they had played, <laughs> they had I not played that Deadpool, my underwear. they had not played that Deadpool, we would have gotten crushed, dude. We would have gotten absolutely Thirsty. roasted and toasted. They were playing around the uh, Galactus, they might have been able to find that line, which is kind of, kind of psycho. It would have been really cool. I would have given them props if they had found it. All right, last game before the ad break. Yeah, there was some kind of like opponent destroy deck. It was interesting that the Negasonic is in there. Like Forge and Nico is kind of surprising for, um, Forge and Nico is quite surprising for um, a destroy deck. This is what I'm we sure got. everybody's a big fan. Alloy, thank you so much for the eight months. Appreciate your welcome in. Forge to buff Deadpool. Very, very astute observation. I had no idea why that would have been in the deck. What's the card back I'm using? It's the Atlantis one. It's from a long time ago. 
Uh, the point I was trying to make is that running Forge and Nico in a destroy list is very peculiar. Very few decks will run both. Most will run only, almost all of them run only Nico. Some of them weirdly will run only Forge, but running both is, is kind of surprising. Oh, this is sick. I was gonna do Hobgoblin, but I don't think it's gonna work anymore. On turn seven, I will have 10 energy to Hobgoblin Galactus on the same turn. Ah, the Hobgoblin would've worked. So if I go to turn seven, I could play Hobgoblin and Galactus on the same turn. chat check this shit out okay this is actually something that i've learned now this is gonna suck if they have ghost spider to play alongside of it but if they don't have go well actually nah the ghost spider will be really if they don't have ghost spider oh they have a sh no they don't have extra energy Uh, Ghost Spider right doesn't matter. We just have to hope they don't have Ghost Spider. Because if they don't have Ghost Spider, you can actually do some crazy shit. Oh, they didn't Ghost Spider. Okay, so watch this, chat. This is so sick. I, it doesn't matter about Ghost Spider right. And also, don't capitalize on it. Okay, so there's a very interesting thing with... Oh, it's Nimrod? Son of a bitch. I was really hoping it was going to be Phoenix Force. So the Phoenix Force thing is that if they move the Phoenix Force, but I have priority, it will move to a different location. And then I will destroy everything before it can copy and like do anything. You gotta imagine they destroy stuff this turn. Man, this sucks. I'm gonna roam as they say. Wait, if this is just a shore, we win. No, it doesn't because it kills the hobgoblin. Shit. All hail Hydra! Ugh. Mm -hmm. It's a torch anyway, that's true. You got a luck, why not change deck? This is what I do, baby. Need for Stevie. Thank you so much for coming to Bing's fan. I appreciate it. So it would have been good, like okay, if they had tried to like Taskmaster or something, right? Like if it was Human Torch, they tried to Taskmaster it. Could have been okay. Los Diablos Base. Um, that'll be a little bit annoying, but we can just storm there and move something away from it. Hmm. 
Just play the Mbaku out here. Get anything middle. They can't do much middle. It's a chance. Depends on how much power they can get middle. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. All right, please. You can still just win this game on the board. Definitely just win this game on the board. Or it's just Warmonger next turn. I just hate that I can never get my damn Galactus combo off. Should be snapping here. Should be an easy win. Looks like a full fill, but one of these is almost certainly Kitty. Still a great snap. Place her just in case. I guess they could have War Machine too, but that's pretty rare. Vision. Hard call out where they vision. They have an eight power kitty that they can play, so they'll go to eleven. They also might have Magento. I think we do this and float six left. Only float five left. Bitch. They'll lose 8, they'll go to 2, but then they'll play an 8 power kitty or a magento. Magento's plus 5. Shit. Just escape, says Voltrox on YouTube. Woo! Victory. That was a good one. Uh, also, eat these ads. I'll see you in three minutes.
Oh, I needed that one. I needed that one. It's a good win. I did watch X-Men 97. Ad start in three minutes? What the heck? Did someone on the did one of the mods snooze? You have that ability? Why did it snooze? Maybe it auto maybe I have auto maybe there's an auto snooze setting? No. You ship Rogue and Magento? Um not really. Kinda weird. Think about what Magento could do in the bedroom though. You can't really do anything with Rouge, right? And Meadow Dell going going crazy, man, man. It's on Twitch. It snoozed ads on Twitch automatically. I've never seen it do that before. Really weird. We really need any more work on Green Goblin. We pretty much have the best split possible. So I don't know which one I like better. The green is pretty good. You just don't really have credits to do anything with Legion. Fortunately. Creates a thin magnetic field around his body. I hate to tell you this, but humans aren't made of magnets. Humans aren't made of metal. So a magnetic field wouldn't stop non-metal from touching things, right? Magento can do a lot of funky things with magnets that don't make sense though. Well, magnets don't make sense to begin with. Magnets aren't, like, no one knows how magnets work. Magnets, how do they work? Do you have any strats for getting good splits? It's all, it's a gotcha. It's all, it's all gambling. Just, it's just all gambling. What's up, Chaos? There's metal in your blood? It's true. Do you have like less than a gram of metal throughout your entire body? You can control that. Yeah, but you're only talking about the one scene from the one movie where while he, he could control it, it was only because uh, Mystique stabbed him with the thing. It's because Mystique put extra metal. <coughs> it's my trick. Why are you doing my trick? Quick logic. Hmm. And we could go quick left, but the their quake is too big now for Galactus. 
We could have just quaked Victory. middle as a joke. We could have just hit Quake Middle for like funsies. Freezing cold. Grab my attention with that title. Unfortunately, it's mostly been a nightmare for me than my opponents, but. I'm glad that you like it. Can you just stay in my deck like once? <laughs> can, can you just do it one time? It's all I want, man. I don't need you to do it every game. Just just the one time would be would be fine. Just, just the one time would be great, honestly. Wind, aid my hand. That's all I ask, man. Mobius player. Mobius player, I see. Let me just do this and like pass. Like, the War Machine and the Legion is kind of cool, but like, I think this just wins. They could play multiple, like, moving cards could make this an issue. Potentially. Depends on what they can play this turn. A lot of things, man. Yeah, Jeff Silk and uh, Nightcrawler, huh? You have all You have all those in your deck. You got you got every one of those, huh? <sighs> every single one of those you got, don't you? Imagine though. I don't think this ever works. <laughs> Fairly certain it never works. That was a perfect counter. It's tended to be the uh it's tended to be the uh the theme today. Tends to be the theme today for sure. How much movie things do they have? Oh, how about every cheap moving thing that exists in the game? Would, would you settle for every single cheap moving thing that, that exists in the game? Is that cool? Do you like that? Is that good for you? Every single one? And then you play your Sunspot into a deck with Nova in it. I'll play Rivals for sure, yeah. Yeah, 
I think a next pass, next month season pass card. What? What is it? I don't know what it is. Baron Zemo, I think it's going to be really good. Uh, it's just another 3-5 with pure upside. Should be pretty solid. Wake, Jeff Storm, Galactus left in the deck. Peek isn't chaos, it doesn't do anything. Problem with Vormir is it's probably Absman, right? Which doesn't really care about Vormir. I just don't have any plays, man. Like, all I can do this turn is Legion, and it's trash. What's up, Dara? Easiest to act this one? If I had him! Why wasn't he in my hand when it got peaked? Need two more turns, though? Well, I'd have to full pass against the deck that has Killmonger. It's just going to kill my thing, and then they're going to win middle by a lot. Definitely had the Poi potential though. Great mods in the chat. Good shout out there, by the way. Go check him out. He's a lot better than me at the game. He plays really cool, awesome stuff all the time. Luckter. Anyone has my back? Baku has my back, man. Always in hand. We're going to hot swap to going for middle. Still need War Machine. Uh, one in three top tech though. It's not going to matter much because opponent's going to play Vision next turn. Problem is Jeff Vision or Nightcrawler <laughs> all win middle. I guess I guess a Nightcrawler wouldn't have. Ernie wins with Hobgoblin Jeff. So their play is the move Jeff middle. They have Kitty, which is not that big. There, I mean, there is a chance that they just abandon middle. Uh, move Jeff left, play like Kitty Vision. Certainly a chance of it. 
trying to think if I have win conditions outside of that. I think it's like that's their play. I never beat it, right? Jeff going mid is, is like an interesting idea to not do though, right? For the opponent. Because they're like, oh, they're just going to play six power mid to play around my Jeff. Why would I even move it? A seven. Oh, we had no win cons. No win cons against that. Yeah, with War Machine, there's a chance they don't think that middle is um, a good idea to go after. But with that hand, if you have Kitty, Snow Guardian, Loki all to play, pretty hard not to want to just take it. It's only a world they don't move Jeff middle. But if they, they, they would have had to have like a good five drop to play usually. Some of those decks, they'll run Dinosaur, like Dinosaur moving and stuff. They had Pryo. Yeah, if they did have Pryo, then it's a tie. It's true. I also agree if they didn't have two one, one cost in hand, there's there's a decent chance that they don't um, make that play because right and left would have been pretty vulnerable. Just you could give them the same ability as Angel. I think they've said they want to. I don't think they have any qualms with that being overpowered by any means. Victory. I think the problem is just it takes takes some time to do like VFX changes and stuff like that. VFX changes are kind of annoying. It's a lot of work to do. Easy win, so true. So true. Man, I should not have doubled my rank. I was thinking about doing a no a stream till infinite on Tuesday. Instead of doing my normal deck guide video. I've also been uh I've also been like super low energy recently, so I don't know if that's like the best idea. Okay, Legion Savage lands. Definitely has some possibilities. Kind of need top deck Quake if we're gonna make this play. But this is still. Uh, it's, I mean, it's kind of stupid to like do that on the Nebula lane, right? Don't have Galactus in hand. Maybe just take War Machine out so we just go Storm into Hobgoblin middle. And then try and try and do a War Machine win. Probably better. Wind, aid my. Oh, goblin enjoyer, I see. Pop deck the quake. Classic. And they definitely have an Nihilus in the deck. And we have priority, so anything we play, we're gonna nihil us back. they left there they must not have a Nihilus in hand because even if they're scared that I could fill right which I can uh, a Nihilus middle just wins middle even if I float six so I don't know what they were scared they must just not have had a Nihilus Oh yeah, I can play left too. That's a good point. But how do I? It, no, it had to be no Annihilus. Because how do I, how do I win left and right while whilst stopping their play? 
There's no way. It's just no Annihilus. Uh, unless they're... Um, I don't know, just got scared or something? Hey, free Quake, Bob. Okay, 25% chance that this is Helm. We'll play here. You did the math. You did the monster math. The monster math. Victory. This I thought I had an Ilus. That's a good point. No binks, it's 50%, I'm sure. That was such a funny day. That was such a funny day watching chat freak out about the possibilities of the third location flipping to be the hot location. I remember that day fondly. No Shang-Chi? That's pretty good. I mean, our deck has no cards that are over 10 power, but... You know, you never know what could happen, right? You, you simply never know. Always 50% it either is or it isn't. So true. And it's not a conversation anymore, because I know the answer. Mobius player! Player of fine Mobiuses, I see. So y'all know everyone's a Binks fan? So true. Give, it, give yourself a hand if you're a Binks fan. There's dozens of us. This always comes out right. Trust. Galactus always comes out right. It's an inevitability, I may call it. Point six for C2 for sure. <laughs> Great point. And actually, Hobgoblin is also somewhat of an indication for C2. Anything we get out of hand is, like, fine, right? Like, the Galactus would be sick, but... It's so weird that it doesn't work when that happens. You know what I mean? It doesn't work when the Grand Central's to the left, but it works when they go to the right. Or no, this doesn't work because the Legion was pulled from it, that's right. If I play it into it, then all of them will trigger. Fuck, man. Legion was like the only bad one. It ruins everything, I did say there were no bad cards, I lied. Let's 
trying to give the trick the game into giving it the one that I wanted. I don't think it would have worked if it was in the right location. I think I, I was incorrect about that. I think it depends if you play the Legion on it or if it gets pulled. Maybe just playing Legion right was the play. And then just clearing both of our hands. Maybe messing up their Miss Marvel. Legion right was probably the play there. Good luck, sucks tonight. Yeah, it's been rough, man. It's been a very, very rough day of snap. I don't think I've gotten the real combo off a single time, which is like almost impossible. This just in. It's actually almost impossible that I've. Don't think I've gotten the actual combo off a single time. We have two things that turn magic off in our deck, so that's probably not safe. Blood has, Blood has Cable in his Thanos deck, by the way. Probably Thanos Loki, yeah. That makes sense. I think Mockingbird is busted. It's pretty busted. Pretty time stunning. Opponent snapped. Next player and collector patriot, uh, way more fun. Yeah, it's mostly uh, it's mostly mostly Thanos that makes the deck uh, like the card like pretty ridiculous. I think they nerfed Thanos soon. They just nerfed him. Man. The last didn't, didn't they nerf him in the last patch or was it the one before that? They literally nerfed him in the last two patches. What do you mean? The, where are they gonna nerf him soon? Bro. Get out of my hand, Mbaku, dude. It's all I ask, man. Did Sandman make this deck better? Yeah, definitely. She should, should give it a try. Hundo P. Um, I don't expect Mbaku isn't a great card. When he's in your deck, he's awesome. When he's in your deck, he could be anything. Give me two points. You like his curse? It's rough, man. Classic Miss Marvel emote, yeah. 
Prodigy? Fog is really good. Yeah, if you get like uh if you get 28 uh Koye triggers, Baku goes goes sick nasty. Yeah, Atlantis is arguably the best like solo Galactus location. There's some spice there. Hob on Kamartage. Oh my gosh. I shouldn't have gotten rid of Kamartage. I could have played Hobgoblin there. Stopping them from getting any... Uh, any good cards. Quake on Kamertage goes pretty hard. That's true. Actually, very, very well situated against Helidex. Helidex is actually one of the best things that uh, we have against, because now they have to put 13 power middle, which is almost impossible. I'm I'm into the stream. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate all the subs. This is the, that was this has been the the worst shit I've ever had, man. Thank you all the subs. We'll be back tomorrow. New video on the channel tomorrow too. Uh, we're gonna send it over to KFET, awesome member of the Marvel Snap community. Give her a bunch of love. Yeah, literal nightmare day. Like it was trying to, it was fun trying to do like a cool combo. It's just, it's, it's just, I've never had this bad of luck ever. Like obviously the deck is kind of dubious, but it's just, I, it's, that, that, that last one just, just took every, every bit of, uh, every, every bit of, um, every bit of, of, of everything that I had. That was, that was it. That was the last, that was the last. I was holding it together really, really well, not getting tilted, but that's it. Thank you all so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.